about the song Uire from the film Bombay. The bass portion of the song is so unique that it made me stop and notice the interesting effect that happens when music travels across distances through our neighborhoods. In this episode, we'll see a software demo of this effect and you might begin noticing this effect more often with your ears after this episode. Welcome to the Suey Sans channel. I'm Sukrish. I recall this incident from my neighborhood. Sometimes we would hear a strange noise, somewhat like this. Bum, 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 bum. Kind of like that. This would happen two or three times a day. And every time it started, it would go on for more than five minutes, the same pattern repeating over and over again. And it made me really curious what it was. And one day I was watching Uire, the song from Bombay. Uire, Uire. And I realized that it's the bass line from the song. Check this out. Why did we end up hearing only the bass portion of the Uire song in my neighborhood, that strange noise? So it turns out that this is a muffling effect. A daily life example of this is cars playing loud music. When those cars pass us by, we often hear something like boom, 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 boom. And we might even wonder why are they playing weird music with just bass and beats. They might very well be playing regular music with vocals and singing and all that. But what happens is the vocals and higher pitched instruments these are high frequency waves and these waves get absorbed and stopped by the materials in the body of the car. Only the low frequency waves escape the car and reach our ears. That's how we end up hearing this boom, boom, boom sound with only the bass and the beats. So this is the muffling effect. Phenomena like this happen all around us every day. We take it for granted. We don't question it. But this bass line from the Uire song is so unique that it made me stop and notice and ask, what is this strange sound? Why is this happening? Typically, popular songs have two kinds of bass lines. Either the bass is recognizable and repeating or it is unrecognizable with variations. Now, if I played something like this, you recognized it as Urvasi Urvasi. Or if I played something like this, Now, these were highly recognizable, catchy bass patterns, and they repeat many times in the song. The other kind of bass pattern is kind of unrecognizable, and it has many variations throughout. For example, something like this. That was from the song Kelamal. As for Uire, the bass line is not as recognizable as the catchy ones and it doesn't have any variations. The same bass pattern repeats over and over and over again from the beginning to the end of the song. So this is kind of a strange combination of properties for a bass line. But I suppose that's what suits 
the heartbreak mood of the song, and the strength of this song is in its vocal melody. Let's look at the sound waveforms of this song. The vocals and higher pitched instruments like violins sit in the higher frequency range. The bass part sits in the low frequency range. Now let's add a software filter. It cuts down the volume of the higher frequencies until you can no longer hear them. It allows only low frequency sounds to be heard. So you hear that muffled sound with just the bass. So this is what has happened when the song traveled from my neighbor's house all the way to my ears. The trees, the brick walls, everything had filtered out the vocals and the high-pitched violins. And by the time the music reached my ears, I could only hear boom, boom, boom. Note that I'm not saying that the muffling effect happens only for the Urire song. No, no, no. This muffling effect under the right conditions can happen to any and all music, all kinds of sounds. What I am saying is this. So many times cars pass us by and we hear this boom, boom, boom sound. It didn't make me stop and think about what is muffling? Why am I hearing only the bass? It's just that this Uire song had a unique bass line and it made me understand the phenomenon. And this is kind of how composer A.R. Rahman ends up becoming a guru to so many of us. It's not that he has to step out and teach a lesson in person. He just does his thing, he's experimental, and we end up learning things. So that's the cool thing. What is the practical application of the muffling effect? Let's say you're playing the cover version of a film song and you cannot hear the bass line properly. Then what you can do is play the song at a reasonably loud volume in one room and walk away several rooms or even try going to another floor and listen from there. If you're lucky, you might be able to hear the bass alone. Now, it may not always work. The conditions may not be right, but I've tried this method several times and I've had success quite a few times. So definitely worth a shot. And if the muffling effect doesn't work in this method, there's obviously the software method. What we saw is known as a low pass or high cut filter. I hope you enjoyed this discussion. See you on another episode. Check out other videos on this channel and don't forget to subscribe.